Gas compressors are complicated and dangerous pieces of equipment. Only trained operators and mechanics, familiar with the unit's operation, should attempt any maintenance. Before you begin any work, confirm that the compressor has been properly depressurized. Check pressure gauges, ensure pressure vent lines are open, and that all pressure is bled off. Also ensure lockout and tagout procedures have been followed. Only when you have confirmed that the compressor is depressurized may you begin work. The tools you will need for removing a valve from a compressor cylinder are a wrench, two pry bars, a valve pick tool, a valve tool, a flashlight, a small mirror, a magnet on a flexible arm, the CMS app and the valve ID tags, or a valve maintenance logbook, and it's handy to have a camera. Begin by slightly loosening all cap screws in steps and evenly on the valve cap. The cap should remain in its original position. If the cap pushes outward, stop all work and completely vent the cylinder. With the cap screws in place, but loosened, pry the valve cap out until the O-ring clears the cylinder. This confirms that the cylinder is vented. Use a pair of pry bars, one on each side of the cap, to remove the cap. Take care not to damage the fasteners. With support, remove the cap screws and valve cap. With the valve cap removed and the valve retainer still in place, install a valve tool onto the valve center bolt or threaded washer. Remove the retainer and the valve from the pocket together. Locate the valve metallic seat gasket. It is difficult to see. On cylinders with horizontal valves, it may have fallen into the gas passage. Use a flashlight and a small mirror on an adjustable rod to locate the gasket. Using the small magnet with a flexible extension rod, remove the gasket from the cylinder. Once the used gasket is removed, bend it and place it somewhere visible to remind you that it has been removed. Use a flashlight to visibly inspect the valve seat gasket land for any signs of damage or rounded edges. If the valve seat gasket land is damaged, ensure the land is repaired before inserting a new valve. Once the valve is removed, locate the valve identification mark, wiping the area clean if necessary. Open the CMS application and scan the valve as removed. If the valve is part of the CMS program but does not yet have a serial number, place the valve in a bag, place a tag on the bag, and place the valve in the box. Place the second tag on the box. Scan that into the system. If the valve is not part of the CMS program, Manually record the date and time of the valve removal and label the valve for identification. Take a photograph of the assembled valve with the valve identification label clearly visible. Do not clean or disassemble the valve. Set the valve aside for its inspection, service, or repair procedures. To install a compressor valve, you will need the following items. The CMS app or a valve maintenance logbook never sees, the OEM's torque, fastener and lubricant guidelines, a valve tool, a new valve seat gasket, a new O-ring, the OEM recommended lubricant, a soft metallic wire gasket for high pressure cylinders, a bottle brush and pressurized liquid solvent, a torque wrench, suction valves, discharge valves, the retainers, the cap screws and valve covers. Make sure that you can distinguish the suction valves from the discharge valves. It's very important that only suction valves are installed in suction pockets and discharge valves in discharge pockets. If the valve is not marked as suction or discharge, you can inspect the bolt side of the valve. For suction valves, you'll be looking at the seat. You should also see the sealing element through the seat ports. If it's a discharge valve, you'll be able to look through the guard ports and see the steel from the valve seat. You may also see the closing springs, since in most valves, these springs are installed in the guard. Before installation, scan the valve as installed using the CMS app, or record the valve installation in your valve maintenance logbook. 
Coat a new valve seat gasket with never seize. Either insert it into the valve pocket or stick it to the valve. Do not allow the gasket to fall into the gas passage. Install all valves with the valve fastener or bolts positioned away from the cylinder bore. Use the valve tool to insert the valve and retainer into the pocket together. Verify that the valve seats properly in the pocket. When installed correctly, the valve will rotate freely by hand. Plastic thumb screws or O-rings hold the valve retainer in position in bottom valve pockets. These are often the discharge valves. Lubricate a new O-ring with the OEM recommended lubricant and install it in the groove on the valve cap nose. Some high pressure cylinders use a soft metallic wire gasket or a spring energized seal instead of the O-ring. Consult the OEM torque guidelines to determine the final torque values for the valve covers. Examine all threads to ensure that they are free of debris and burrs. If necessary, use a bottle brush and pressurized liquid solvent to clean the threaded holes thoroughly. Avoid allowing any debris into the cylinder gas passages. Bolts should be threaded into the hole and bottomed out on the valve cap by hand without resistance or use of a wrench. If bolts do not thread into the hole freely, contact the OEM to obtain thread repair instructions. Consult the OEM valve cap torquing procedure to ensure proper seal crush and to prevent valve cap bolt failures. Draw bolting to full torque in even gradual steps without bias on one bolt or caulking the valve cap in the bore. Such actions can unevenly crush the gasket which can lead to gas leaks and or bolt failure. Consult the OEM torque guidelines to determine the final torque values for the valve covers. For circular fastener arrangements, torque in a crisscross order. For three bolt arrangements, make multiple passes using the order 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2. Initially torque fasteners to 25% of the final torque, then in increments of 25% until you reach 100% of the final torque. Inspect the distance between the underside of the valve cover and the surface of the cylinder. The distance should be uniform around the entire valve cover. 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters for new valves or slightly less with reworked valves. After maintenance, purge the entire system with gas prior to operation to avoid a potentially explosive air-gas mixture. Follow the packager's instructions for a safe startup. 